Now, let's move forward and deal with the occult symbolism connected to the number 11 because the release date for the Blueprint 3 album is on 9-11. According to those in the occult, the number 11 is considered to be a master number. It represents sin, which according to the book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4 is the transgression of the law of God. 11 is also said to bring the gift of the spiritual inheritance which is the gift of the light bearer. In Hebrew, light bearer is the meaning of the name Lucifer. In astrology, the 11th sign in the zodiac is Aquarius. Now according to those in the occult, they believe that we are now living in the age of Aquarius, which means according to their belief system, we are now living in the age of the coming of their new age Christ, which in reality is the Antichrist Lucifer. This harmonizes with their occult belief system that the number 11 also stands for duality. Let me explain what I'm talking about. The term Antichrist does not simply mean to be against Christ, but it means to try to be just like Christ. In Isaiah chapter 14, starting at verse 12, the Bible says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? And then in verse 14 of the very same chapter, it says, referring to the evil desires that lay within Lucifer's heart, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. According to these verses of scripture, Lucifer wants to be just like the Most High. He desires for there to be duality, which is exactly what the number 11 is symbolic of in the occult. The word duality means the quality or condition of there being dual or two, and an instance of opposition or contrast between two concepts. So in summary, the number 11 as used by the Freemasons and all occult members represents the eternal government or eternal kingdom of the Antichrist that will rule simultaneously with the eternal government of the Most High but it will be in eternal opposition to the kingdom of God because the Antichrist government, Lucifer's government, will be ruled by absolutely opposite principles than those found within God's commandments. Hence, the followers of Lucifer think that they will reign with Lucifer in a kingdom that will break God's Ten Commandments. So, if we put the numbers 9 and 11 together, this is the occult meaning that we will get. The destruction of the present order to establish a new world order that will be governed by Lucifer, in which all of his subjects will live as immortal sinners in opposition to God's eternal kingdom and in opposition to God's eternal law. This is the very same lie that Satan used from the very beginning to seduce and deceive humanity into rebelling with him against God. In Genesis chapter 3, when Satan came to Eve in the Garden of Eden, using a snake as a medium to promote his lies, when he questioned Eve and asked her, Yea, have God not said that ye shall eat of every tree of the garden? Eve answered him by responding in Genesis chapter 3 starting at verse 2 by saying, Yea, God hath said that we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God's knowing good and evil. 
Here, Satan, which Freemasons and occult members still refer to as Lucifer, told Eve that if she would break God's law, number one, her eyes would be opened, insinuating that to obey God makes one blind and ignorant. Number two, if she rejected God's commandment, she would be as God, which means she would become immortal. Because according to 1 Timothy 6 and verse 16, God is the only one who hath immortality and dwells in light. And number three, to obtain immortality and to be like God, one must know both good and evil, which is the occult concept behind the yin and the yang, light and and darkness, the balancing of both good and evil for the perpetuation of existence. So in essence, according to those in Freemasonry and the occult, for one to become like God, they must reject God's light, which is simply to reject God's commandments. And this gives us the answer to why the album that was released before Jay-Z's album entitled Kingdom Come was the album entitled The Black Album. You see, according to Jay-Z and his occult buddies, the principles of God's commandments, which is the light, must first be blacked out or rejected before Lucifer's eternal kingdom can come. Jay-Z's albums are mass brainwashing tools to mold people, especially the youth, for the new Luciferian world order. And just when you thought it couldn't get much worse, I saved the very best part for last. In the occult, the number 11 is also supposed to act as a channel for information between the higher and the lower. So, when Jay-Z releases his highly anticipated album, The Blueprint 3, on this highly occult date, 9-11, the demonic forces of Satan will be working heavily upon the mind of every individual that purchases this album to possess them with the very same spirit that is embodied within this satanic blueprint so that these poor individuals who will become possessed with this satanic spirit will submit their consciences, submit their wills to being subjects in Lucifer's new world order.